Okay. There you go. There you go. Uh, I have to ask uh, you, Tabin, do you know what a gynecologist and a dog have in common? Don't even know what some of that is, but no, I don't. What do they have in common? A wet nose. <laughs> oh. <laughs> and that's, that's nasty. <laughs> that's nasty, yes. I, and you know, when I was little, my mother used to let us, uh, us kids, lick the beaters when she was baking. It would have it would have been so much better if she had turned the mixer off first. <laughs> and yeah, I, I could see that. Yeah, and do you know what the animal is the best at over, overall at sports? I do not. Well, that would be the penguin, of course. Now that I've totally made you guys uh, go into a coma, let's roll the music. <laughs> I, I'm glad this show's over. Thanks. Uh, see you next week, guys. Thanks, yeah, thanks, thanks. Thanks for coming along. Bye-bye. The shortest <laughs> episode ever. Ha. Hmm. Well, hello, greetings, aloha, guten tag, hola, and mubark fluff to all the creatures in the potiverse. I am Barely Normal, and you are listening to Barely Furcasting, featuring Tabin with me as usual. And for the first time today is Tabin and Rain. How are you, Tabin? Well. Yes. Let me tell you something. I would love to hear something. I would like to hear something, too. And I am... Good. Uh, I, you know how you get like, um, you get all these dead batteries and stuff because, and they, you just throw them in a little bucket because you don't know what to do with them. So it's just in your house. Well, I got rid of all my dead batteries today. I, I gave them away free of charge. Yes, uh, I'm sure you did. Oh. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And, and actually, I, I'm not so good. Like last night, I wasn't so good because there was like this big, huge wind, you know, all this horrible weather and everything we're having. This big storm came up mm-hmm. and it blew away 25% of my roof. And all I could say is, oof. <laughs> so, so, Rain, how are you doing on that note? And early, how are you? Oh, my God. Oh, my, God. Oh my goodness. Oh yes, twenty five ah. my oof. Twenty five percent. Oof. 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 <laughs> Rain, how are you? Oh my oof. I my am, oof. My oof I is am on EP. fire. I'm very EP. Uh oh. Okay. Oh, so I, that's um S- I've only been getting twenty five percent of my sleep. One, two, three, four, five. Wait. S L E E P Y. Oh, six. Yeah, okay. Mm. Right. No, uh, so thirty three percent. What? 33% of my sleep, yeah. What? EP. Because he's EP. <laughs> oh, I... You know, <laughs> or furry talk. You know, the EP <laughs> thing just kind of came up a lot in the last year. Yes. It really did. I noticed it, this too. It's, I, it's yeah. just like everybody says, I'm EP, I'm EP. And I'm like... No, I I, I had it. no idea what that meant for the longest. At, at the longest, <laughs> for the first couple of weeks, I'm like EP. What are you? What? Like, are you being scared by something? I know. It's like EP. But Eep. then, then I finally put the context together. Um, but it had to come from the puppy world, the puppy play world. That's where. Mm. That's where I think it came into existence because they all talk like Good. little puppies. You know, it's like I'm mm. EP. Yeah. I'm EP. I'm, EP. I'm like uh, okay, everybody's EP. All right. Tabin. Hi. Hi. <laughs> oh, yes. Hi. Hi. Paying attention. Yes. Uh-huh. <laughs> this thing here is that what you're... <laughs> I, you have some um, cats with fur I, I do... mating. They're cat Mation. fur matrons. <laughs> oh, I thought we stopped it. Why are we still talking? I thought we were done with this show for a week. Okay. Um. No. Yes. <laughs> so I have some cat fur matrons for this week. Mm-hmm. Continuing on, so if any of you first don't know, I I started um, this little segment called Cat Formations. I have this ah! book, um, exactly, <laughs> of Cat Formations, Mindful Mantras to Awaken Your Inner Cat. Ah, woo. Ah, woo. Ah! So the next <laughs> three are... I always seek a new 
perspective. Ah, okay. Mm. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> I'm meow. <laughs> I'm meow. <laughs> I'm meow. I'll know the right time to pounce. And here's a little picture. You, you first can't see, but I'm showing them the little picture of the kitty that looks like a lake. Oh, it looks, yeah. yeah. Or like, kitty. yeah. It's an ocean. It's an ocean. Meowian? I don't know. Omeowian? Omeowian. And a me. Yes. I can't even do that. I will make it to the top on my own terms. Well, that's yeah. good. And, and there's, to the there's top the on her terms. Aww. Where's the kitty? And oh, the kitty's those... in the mountain. That kitty is the, the kid, Yeah, the kitty's on the, on the. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Kitty. I'm, I'm noticing a trend of the pictures. Lots of kitties are the mountain tops. In a lot I of was pictures. just actually the they same They like to thing. lay on things <laughs> high up. <laughs> yes. Yeah. That's like, like their favorite thing to do is the kitties mm-hmm. of the mountain tops or something. <laughs> the kitties of the mountain tops. And that. And those are my cat formations uh-huh. for the week. Ah, woo. I'm you. I'm you. Yes. I'm you. I, that, yes. That's I'm what. You. Yes. Not I woo. I'm you. I'm you. I'm you. I'm you. I'm you. Okay, uh, uh, gentlemen, furs, ladies, and pups. Does any of us have anything for the past today? Did we miss something in the last several episodes that we need to go over again? I no, can't think of anything. I mean, We've been really good about not getting things we, wrong lately because we don't talk about anything for, I know, important. Good for us. So, <laughs> but I do want to. I do want to give a special shout out for the past today mm-hmm. because oh. uh, Chitaro uh, guest guest hosted with me a couple of weeks, weeks ago. Episode, a couple of weeks ago. A couple yeah. weeks episode. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Anyways, it, time is weird. <laughs> Uh, just want to give a shout out and say thanks again, Chitaro. It was a lot of fun. Thanks again, Chitaro, for that timey wimey weird stuff. Wibbly mm-hmm. wobbly timey wimey. Eepy eepy eepy. Oof 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 eepy eepy timey wimey wobbly wibbly wobbly stuff. Okay. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> That's horrible. <laughs> Why is it horrible? I don't know. It's not <laughs> horrible. <laughs> oh, it's not horrible. It, if it see if it were. But it could be horrible, in which case it would be H O R R I B L E. It would be one, five, six, seven, one eighth of being horrible. <laughs> Not this that was horrible. That was- this, this is your, your English math for the week words and percentages <laughs> when removing letters. Mathlish. Oh. Mathlish, like English, but mathlish. Okay. Yes. All right. Oh, well then- okay. So here's a challenge then. Let's do a challenge for you. Um, if you were to, I don't know, if you were to only mopia, what percentage of a sound would you be making? <laughs> but I would prefer to see barely right now. He's just like, what? I know what word you're thinking of. I know. Okay. You're thinking I, I, of onomatopoeia. So you said, yeah. yes. Yeah. So yes. we'd only be doing one sixth of onomatopoeia. N a t p o e i a. You have to know how to spell on mono here, which is not um, three not easy to spell. Oh no, eleven minus three, so seven eleven. So you'd be do- doing seven eleven. Ah, seven <laughs> eleven. Eleven. That's seven where 11. we can go to get Slurpees. That's right. Uh, you know, uh, my husband. Slurpees. My husband sent me to Seven Eleven to pick up six cans of Sprite, but I picked seven up instead. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, That's what I think about that. Oh. I think we've told that joke anyways. (laughs) Do what? There's a sound. We need a sound. I'll put something in post. I I I did a slide whistle. Oh, did he slide whistle? Sometimes we can't hear it. I can't hear it until after. The slide whistle is very 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 low. It's okay. So here's a bike horn for you. Okay. So so low and behold. We have we have um some obscure media quotes to go over today. We do. Oh, <laughs> what? What is I don't, going I don't on? I don't understand. I have no idea. 
<laughs> I've got to stop paying for epidemic sound if you keep doing this. Yes. Because it just doesn't make any sense. Or dollars. Or dollars. Uh, <laughs> yeah. So, our movie quote uh. for this week <laughs> is... Greetings, Starfighter. You have been recruited by the Star League to defend the frontier against Zur and the Kodan Armada. Okay. That's from The Last Starfighter. I was ah, just going to say that. Yeah. Hey, wow, we did it. Mm -hmm. You guys something. finally got one of my movie quotes, like, right on the nose there. Well, okay. since, the, since the name of the movie was in the quote, it made well, it Well, there's other easy. movies with Starfighters in them. But I think Like they, the first Starfighter. Yeah. Probably. And, mm -hmm. or, and the medium, the average Starfighter. <laughs> <laughs> the worst Starfighter. The worst, the worst star star right? That, oh my cow! Uh, that, that was a good one. That was uh, that was part the, ten, I think. Yeah, the music quote for this week: "Looking so lovely, feeling so right. Been working the whole day, waiting for the night. Now I'm leaving behind all the stress in my mind, singing I will survive. Just want to move so much closer to you. The world's trying to break me. I need you to save me. Um." You need to save me. I'm going to say that was um, Frank Sinatra singing Get Out of My Way, You Silly Little Person. Ooh, that's, that's very close. That's a but very it's, good That's not it. It's not My it. My guess is, let's see, the, the last, read the last two lines again. I think that give it away. The world's trying to break me. I need you to save me. I feel like that's from the theme of Rocky Three. Also very close, but no. You're going to have oh. to wait till next week. <gasps> okay. Oh. And our literature quote for this week. Twas okay. brilliant in the slidey toves, did gyre and gimbal in the wave. All mimsy were the burrow and the mom's oh. wrath Barely outbreak. knows this one, I can tell. Yeah. Barely knows it. That is... What about you, Pup? I, I mean, I'm going to guess... Um, I don't know. Cat in the hat takes Manhattan. <laughs> Pretty close. That is the poem by Lewis Carroll called The Jabberwocky. That is correct. Is it really? I, yes. And to think I, I even read that on the show once. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. All blithey now that I Now that I started saying it, I, re I realized, oh, you did read that on the, on yes. the show once. But that, that I think it's punishment. Yeah, yes. I think you read it as punishment for something that you did wrong. Barely made you read it. I did. Oh, the thing. No, the thing that I got punishment for that he made me read was the uh, the fox rocks thing. Yes, rocks mm -hmm. that that yeah. one was definitely punishment. You, That's I've noticed you've kept your notes better updated since then. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I, At I least I sort thing. of know what he's going to say now. Sort of. Right, sort, sort of. of. Sometimes. Sometimes. Which means... Which means... <laughs> which means... Right. Folks, furs, friends, enemies, you now have to suffer through... Frenemies. Eleven. 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 Go for what it, What happened David. to five quick puns? He hasn't done it for several weeks, so he's, they've been piling up. So, they were oh, sitting in the corner. Yeah. They're like dust bunnies. So now he has to sweep them up and tell them all to us. <laughs> it's like that. It's like that thing that that happens to to men. But they don't do the thing. You get oh, that, that, o, o TSB. Yeah. yeah, it gets built up. And gets you that can't, TSB. Yeah. yeah, you don't want that yeah. TSB building up. No. Yeah. Transformation station, um, belittled. Yes. Sure. Yes. That's just like good, BDSM. Good boys doing sexy magic. I like I like that. <laughs> so so and, on that and what note, if your co-host does um, that? Yes. Uh yes. it's Haven. Go for it. And and I'm not even gonna do this quickly. Oh. So I'm okay. gonna make it even worse okay. and more drawn out. Oh um, yay. Yay, yay. And actually get I get so, with it. Um, yes, get over yes, get it. Over <laughs> My honey actually gave me this list, um, and I this is why I can't resist this because well he's helping with the show and everything, so I have to read. And I actually haven't heard some of these before. I'm sure both of you have because like you know lots of things, and I don't know anything. But we'll do this. Um, so, a chicken crossing the road is poultry in motion. Mm. It is, and 
I thought I saw an eye doctor on an Alaskan island, but it turned out to be more of an optical illusion. <laughs> that one is pretty good, yeah. <laughs> so we, we all thank my honey for these. Yes. She was only a whiskey maker, but he loved her still. <laughs> <laughs> That's cute. That's cute, actually. That Very cute, cute. yes. Uh, a rubber band pistol was co confiscated from algebra class because it was a weapon of math disruption. Oh, yes. Yes. Yes, it was. Mm -hmm. uh, the but and we're not done. We still have um, six, no, seven more. The butcher backed into the meat grinder and got a little behind in his work. Yes. Yes, but I think you already knew that. Yes. You also know that no matter how much you push the envelope, it's still stationary. Mm hmm True. Yeah. Um, but did you know that a dog gave birth to puppies near the road and was cited for littering? Mm. Uh, uh, a, gr <laughs> a grenade thrown into a kitchen in France would result in linoleum blown apart. <laughs> <laughs> linoleum blown apart. Oh my God. Because <laughs> uh, France. <laughs> right. Yes. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> we, we get it. We get it. We, okay. Two silkworms had a race. They ended up in a tie. <laughs> That's a good one. <laughs> okay. Um, when cannibals ate a missionary, they got a taste of religion. Oh, that I mean, okay. And a backward poet writes in verse. <laughs> in verse. Okay. Okay, we did it. We made it through. Yay. <laughs> Tabin. Hi. Hi there. Do you know Hi. how you do you know how you know when a chicken farts? Hi. I, I'm just gonna say no. It it leaves a foul smell. It does. It it really, really does. Just like the joke you just told. Actually. Yes. It's, yes. Yes. Definitely. Most. Oh my God. Most deaf. Most deaf. Most deaf. Most deaf. Most. Deaf. Um. What I meant to ask you. Um. Are you excited for Get Up? We're going to talk about this later, but as a preamble to it, are you both excited for Get Out the Float? Oh yes. Sure. Yes. Super excited. <laughs> sure. I haven't slept for the last four days. Don't expect much out of me. Okay. Oh, but we then expect a lot. Let's just move on to media. <laughs> let's us move on to media. There we go. There's the yell. So, uh, finally, I have started to watch B Stars. Five, like five years later, you're finally getting around <laughs> wow. to it. Yes. Wow. Good mm -hmm. job. And how is it? Yeah. <laughs> uh, it's okay. It's okay. There. Um, oh, you are in big trouble, Mister. You are. Why it's, am I in big trouble? Because you think it's, it's just okay. 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 Let me let me let me preface this okay. with the fact that I wish some of the episodes were longer. Okay, because just about the time the story line gets interesting, they cut to black and the episode's over. And then yes. there's very little follow up to that episode on the next episode. I mean, the storyline is continuing, yeah. yes, but they do certain things in there and that's that's a a trait of anime. They don't necessarily mm -hmm. have long story arcs. They have one. Well, story they also arc. get cut. They also get cut to crap during during transfer Trans from Japanese to English. Yes. So a lot of a lot of stuff that's contextual that that you that you really want to find out about gets cut out because they can't match any English words. And, and some with, of it doesn't come up until yeah. season two. <laughs> that, yeah. yeah and there's which, stuff like that. But. Which is which is fine. I mean, I'm enjoying the show. I'm enjoying the animation. I'm not a big fan of all the internal dialogue mm. because that is oh. a big part of that show is the internal dialogue. And that's true. And I swear on every fur that's listening, if they <laughs> okay. don't start drawing Lego, Lego, she 
with a little bit better posture, I'm going to smack somebody. <laughs> he, he You're not a, a fan bit. of the bad posture, I take it. Yeah, well, he's he's a little shy at first, and so he's going to get that teenage humped over. He, I he mean, does get he does get not. better though. He he does he, get better. Yes, okay. as he gets more confidence, he starts to he starts to get very wolfy. So okay. You might not have to smack every for I don't know. Maybe yes. we'll we'll see what happens. I, I don't. Know. We'll have to see what happens. But I mean, I'm enjoying it. I I am enjoying it. I'm watching it with some uh, friends across the country. Uh, we're doing. How far what? are you into it? Uh, we're, I think, uh, almost to the end of season one. Nice. Oh, okay. Okay. So I, I, I will say my, my big complaint with B stars, not enough Jack. There was, there's not enough Jack. Yeah. There's not enough. Cause Jack. he is so cute. Yeah. And, and we do love his voice actor. We do love his voice actor, um, Ben. Thank you. Yes, we love you. Um, Yay. Yes, Ben. So for, for any further that doesn't know what um, they're referring to there, we did have Ben Diskin, who is the ben. voice of Jack. And also the voice of Haida on um, Agrasuko um, mm -hmm. on the show as a guest appearance. Um, oh, when was that? Season two or something? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that was season two. Uh, so, when, and this pup right here got to talk to Jack, and I am still wagging about that. When guests would agree to come on our show. They haven't agreed to come on yeah. our show for a long time. So um, uh, we, we do have one that's agreed to come on. I just got to get in touch with her again and... Mm -hmm. Get her yay a up. guest yay. and you and there's there's yeah. actually been a bunch that I've talked to that said they want to and I've given rain there I mean they just haven't yet because whatever yeah <laughs> yeah yeah no and I've had Seems lots like of people are all busy now for some I, reason I, now the now pandemic the, is over now the pandemic is over and they're actually doing their lives they're not sitting they around the house with nothing yeah. to do right. <laughs> it's like you want to be on my podcast like, yes absolutely I want this I'm bored out of my mind but uh, now yes. they're not so um yeah no I mean there's I talked to a number at BLFC. I said, in fact, I saw a lot that I have talked to about becoming on the show. And as soon as they mm -hmm. saw me, they're like, I know, I know, I know that I told you I'd <laughs> yeah. be on your show, but I've just been busy. <laughs> they know. Okay, yes. okay. As yeah, long it's, as it's they know, crazy. that's good. That's good. Like, I'll get, I'll get a yes, and then, like, I, I'll send two or three follow-up emails. They're like, oh, I'm just busy right now. I'll, I'll get back to you. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. Like, Rain Volpine Hef Taproom guys, uh, it took them forever mm -hmm. to... Who? Mm -hmm. The Efron or not the guys? I'm, I'm sorry, no. The Furry brewery, Brewers. Um, oh, the... Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. The um, yeah. Tap Room. I'm sorry, not... The, or the Volpine yes, yeah. thing. The Volpine yes. Tap Room, yes. Yes. Rain, have you ever received um, Brussels sprouts in an envelope in the mail? I can't say that I have, and I would be very pissed off because I don't like Brussels sprouts. Oh. And if you send them in the mail, I'm sure they're going to smell even worse than they smell when they're cooking. Okay, so, now no. we now now you first know if you get mad at rain, you know what to do. Now, barely, <laughs> what would make you mad if you received in an envelope in the mail a request for money? Bills, yeah. yeah. Bills make me mad too. Bills but you lately. get a lot of times, don't yes. you? Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> it's like that makes me angry. So, so all you furs, if you want to make barely mad, just send him a bill. And <laughs> yes. Don't send me a William. Send me a bill. All right. I'm also watching. Bill. I restarted watching Deep Space Nine again from the beginning. Oh, Because very nice. I was picking it up in bits and pieces as I was traveling around. And I was like, wait a minute. I need to watch this from the beginning because... That it, yeah, it's so very really linear. Does, yeah. It's very linear. Yes, yes. I want to watch it, that again. I'm you're yeah. inspiring me to watch that again. Yeah, it did not do well in separate episodes. No, it did like not do well in syndication episode. because they wanted to show different episodes yeah. for different things. And you're like, wait a minute, why is that person that way now? I don't understand. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and then they go yeah. back to season one. Something is like, all right. So, but but I'm watching it in order, and it's kind of nice. And then I'm catching up on Archer. And uh, with the new oh, nice. season, so there are eight. That's I still that's haven't started the new watching. season yet. I got to do that. Yeah. So that's what mm -hmm. I've been watching. Tabin, how about you? Let's do rain first. Okay, let's do this rain. Oh, first. important. No, I'm not. But uh, I haven't been doing anything but watching my oh. editing screens. I'm still. Oh, I remember just like last like week, last week crazy week. on redo who. So crazy. And I just unplugged my headphones. So hold oh. on. <laughs> We are holding on. Now I can hear again. Nice. Can, are, we, can we, are we done holding on? We are done holding on. I can let go. Because okay. I am yeah. done. You right. can let, we go, can let go, now. go now. Okay. <laughs> Tabin, how about you? Well, I have some things. I have some things, too. Mm, me, too. Are we? <gasps> Rain, do you have things? I do. Well, one. One thing? Okay. Yeah. That, I mean, maybe you'll get more later. Um, maybe. I, I have full maybe. faith in you. 
I like getting things. Um, anything mm-hmm. so um i've been watching south park for lunchies i almost watched another lower decks episode for lunchies but almost I uh. and you would think there so any for that heard um the show last week um might have heard that me and barely like watch a ton of south park at fc because they were like having this big four or five day marathon, marathon or something right but, yeah and so you would think that i wouldn't need to watch any more south park for lunchies after that but no i decided to watch more south park for lunchies um uh, something I saw happen was my husband trip over and he dropped a basket of clothes that he had just ironed. I saw it all unfold. Huh. But also I watched, <laughs> I got a really, I got a lot of bad uh, faces um, at me just now, all you furs that are listening, yes. barely in rain are like, Mm-hmm. I think I'm banned from the show now, actually. <laughs> Goodbye. Thanks, all you for It's been a nice run. Um, <laughs> I'm going to find another furry that's I'm, got a T. I'm in there. Taven 3.0. Yeah. Yep. There's yes. Another fur that's, that's right. got a T. We're, yeah. We're on 2.0. Yeah. Oh, we'll, my. we'll go to 3. Um, don't, don't make us. Don't make us don't go make to us do it. Don't um, you do it. I've been watching. I don't know if you remember me talking about, I watched at one point the Mindy Project, a, a Netflix mm-hmm. show. Yes. And so we started watching um, season four. Now we're watching, which is, uh, it's great. I, I still love the show. So, but I read when I was trying to find it, because I forgot what season we were on. So I went to look online and, you know, see, see uh, episode titles so I could figure out which epi- what season we're on. And when I did, I saw a review that was titled, When Did the Mindy Project Get Bad? <laughs> and well, I had to read that. <laughs> yes. And, it went, and the review went, um, like other reviewers said, the show goes downhill in season three and keeps going downhill from that point on. If you're looking for a light, funny comedy, this is it for the first two seasons. Don't bother watching beyond that point. The show was pretty hilarious up until Minnie, Mindy and Danny started getting involved. So, okay. so And it turns out many people seem to agree with this, but me and my hubby do not agree. Like, so we're in season four and like some recent episodes we saw recently were just hilarious. A lot of people apparently think that um, it's not so good anymore, but to each his own, I guess. Anyway, that was just a interesting little anecdote I came across today. Was there a single um, episode where they jumped the shark? Uh, that term, that term is, it's a throwback to the show Happy Days, Happy days when Fonzie jumped over a shark in the ocean with water skiing and they credit that episode as the death of happy days but it was so bad and so poorly oh. executed <laughs> so now if somebody says they jumped the shark that it, that means that's the point where okay it's done it was just done so hopefully we never jump the shark on this show hopefully not <laughs> i am writing this down because I want to watch this episode of Happy Days. And so next the week. The shark has jumped us multiple times. Multiple times. But, uh, yes. Yeah. Uh-huh. <laughs> um, so next week on the past today, or not next week, because we won't be doing this next week. Well, we'll be, uh, but we'll be next, doing next a live we record. We'll be, we'll be doing a live recording at, oh, at yeah, Get Out we the will, won't we? Yes. Yeah. So at that, for the past today, remind me to talk about, um, hopefully I'll have watched this episode and I, I can talk about it. Absolutely. There you go. Um, so, oh, we've been watching, it's a Netflix from 2023. It's a series called My Life with the Walter Boys. Have either of you heard of this show? No, I have not. No, but it sounds kind of hot. Yeah. Well, you, you actually don't even have to wa- watch it during the summer because we've been watching it during the winter. So it hasn't been really that hot, but you know, it's, it's, it depends on when you watch it. Um, it's actually, it is actually really good. Um, have either of you seen Suits, the, the show Suits? Yes. 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 Very good show. And you know the Donna? Mm-hmm. She, the Donna plays the mother in, um, and her name is Sarah Rafferty. She plays um, the mom in the, My Life with the Walter Boys. So that, that was kind of a nice cameo there. But it's a really good show. It's about a, it's about a New York girl named About Jackie. A. Just A. No B, C, D, or E. <laughs> it's about A. A. Hey, uh, so <laughs> this this episode of Barely for a Haven has been sponsored by that's the, the letter, letter A because that's a. what it's about, and the number seven, <laughs> and the number seven, and sharks, sharks, yes, and mm-hmm. also the show is about a New York girl named Jackie that ends up 
it, like in the very first episode, she ends up needing to move to the countryside with the Walters, where there are, I think, like eight country boys of all ages. And Jackie, she is still through all this and the craziness of the countryside. And she's from Manhattan and everything. Through all this, she's she keeps trying to fulfill her dream of going to Princeton. And you can imagine that chaos ensues. Ah, but it is. It sounds a like good the show. plot of, uh, of the Fresh Prince of Bel-Air. Sort of. Maybe that's where they got the idea from. <laughs> yeah, there's very few ideas that are new in the sitcom world yeah. anymore. No, yeah, I mean, true. Re- it's true. It's true. Mm-hmm. It's like girl grows up and goes to um, a monastery, and that's a, pretty much every sitcom that you ever sure heard about. Absolutely, I think that yeah. came from um, the Brady Bunch. Yes, didn't Mar- didn't um, Marsha go to? Become a nun. Yes, get thee to a nunnery. Greg said to her, get and then to, off Marcia, she went. Marsha, Marsha, yeah. Right? See exactly. <laughs> and then she got the hat. Yes. that made her fly. Yes, and then she got. She became the fly. That's where that all came from. That's, <laughs> That's right. That's right. all connected. And and the, and then these days you see her when she's flying around. It's on a broomstick, and that's where Bewitch came from. <laughs> yes, right, right. It, it's all connected. If you, you can't see, cut it as a nun, connected. you become a witch because they have far lower standards for entry. Yes. The, the bar is very low. It's it's like very low. Um, have you seen? We watched a movie. We actually watched, well, two movies in the last week. One movie that um, we can't remember what it was. I, I guess it was just. That I have good. seen that one. It no, was, it, was, I, I, it was really bad. I I don't know if we actually saw it or not either. But we also saw. So you both have, might have seen the Legend of Tarzan, the 2016 with Samuel L. Jackson and Bill from True Blood. I have not. I have not. No, I have not. I have not seen the live oh. action Jungle Book. Nope. The Legend of Tarzan, or that one? <laughs> yeah, that's that. You're thinking that you, one's Roger Kipling and the other one's not. Yes. I am so confused right now. I know you are, and that's what makes it fun. <laughs> I don't even know what is going on. See, this was happening even way, way back in the past. Yes. Tarzan and the Jungle Book are the same exact story. They are. Oh, are they? Pretty much. Yes. yes. Pretty much, yeah. Oh. Mm-hmm. Just replace okay. Baloo with Jane. Yeah. Okay. I mean, you think about it. I learned something. Yeah. I, 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 woof, woof, this is, woof, that, that was all 100% of, of mm-hmm. it. it. That's the it. Woof. The woof, all 100%. Yeah. Um, so The Legend of Tarzan, as I said, um, the 2016 with Samuel L. Jackson and have you, do you know what, have you seen True Blood? Yeah. Yes. Mm-hmm. Yes. So Bill from True Blood is also in it. So that's another fun cameo. And so there are so many Tarzan movies, apparently also by the name of Jungle Book. <laughs> yeah. So there's so many of these out there and, and all these remakes of Tarzan movies are like all horrible, but this one is actually pretty good. And it's like the CGI animals in this are really good. They just did a really good job job with it. And it's definitely furry-esque in parts. Tarzan talks to the animals and the animals are like, they're not anthropomorphic, but they're, I mean, it's just very furry in parts. And it it was really good anyway. So that's what we've been watching. What I've been playing is what I always do. Bloons, Monkeys with Pops, Hearthstone, and Beat Saber. And that's my media for the week. I'm going to shut up now for now. No, you've been playing something else too. I know you have. I know you've been playing Royal Match because you're on my team. Oh, that's right. I've been playing a lot of that, haven't you? Yes. You have been. I see that you're up to 200, level 200. Oh, does it say my level on there? It does, whenever you if ask for help. you're on the same help. team or something? Yeah, oh, okay. I can see your levels, yes. Uh, okay, okay. The, the, the jig is up. The jig my is up. My levels are known. Yes. That I'm... is right. I, I have been playing. Um, on, on the way to FC, all you furs, uh okay. I was talking, asking Barely what game he's playing these days. And I told him I've been playing two two dots for a long time. And he said, Royal Match. And I said, oh, I think I have them on my phone, but I haven't played it yet. Probably because my posies are too big and they don't do Anyway, so I tried it. And and I obviously like it because I, as Barely has noted, have been playing it a lot lately. So, yes. <laughs> how did that? How could I even forget that? How could you? How, how could oh, you? Oh, my cow. Oh, my cow. Okay. Well... Anything else, Mr. Tebin? No. Or or as you were called at FC, Tabian? 
<laughs> Fabian. Fabian. I get that so much. That's that's like the most common yeah. mispronunciation of my name. I know. It's like, well, and then autocorrect loves to make up new words for your name too. All oh, time. does it? Yes. Oh, yes. Yes, I've oh, gotten Tbin, uh, tuberculosis. <laughs> Uh, like all kinds oh of my. weird like I, i'm I, trying I, to type it fast and autocorrect is like did you mean right oh. no. yeah. I, I had one for tell me um it autocorrected my name to table so now if, at table. least for them i am known as table table <laughs> yeah so i put uh i put the, a shortcut for your name when i do texting so mm, mm-hmm, i put mm-hmm. i put tb as for Tabin. Uh, and so when I do, when I type TB, it puts Tabin in there. Now, the problem with that is sometimes if I'm typing something else and I have TBD to use, or, I have yeah. to do TBD, T, you know, or just something like that, it oh. puts the Tabin in there. It's like, no, 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 no. Tabin D. Tabin D. Yes. <laughs> Tabin determined. Tabin determined. All right. <laughs> At this time, it is time for us to get to Furries in the News. Well, at least just sitting back and like, okay, what, what? Ah. Ah. My pa is trying to let me know that there are <laughs> I am so sorry. I am so, so sorry. In the news, bark, bark. Okay, did it? Did it? Done? Okay. Oh my cow! There is. There is so much dog slobber dripping from the bottom of his mic right I now. Know. Oh, Do we, I know. I believe cow. it. Oh Does he need God. to flush the toilet after that? I mean, wow. I, it's, I think. <laughs> I, I think they have um, like medicine out there that I, I can take. I don't know. Maybe I should go find it. Hmm. Maybe know. you should go find that. Right. So the only article I have for Furries in the News, I don't know if either of you saw this, but on January 24th, at the New York Knicks Nets basketball game, Tyra Banks was sitting on the sidelines, and she was joined oh, yeah. by two furries. Two furries, yes, I did I, see I, this. It's yeah, been yeah. all over Blue Sky. Oh, it's all over Blue Sky. It's all over Telegram. It's all Twi- over Twitter, Twitter, or Twitter whatever. Yes, it's all over everything. Yes, um, but let's not talk about my ex. Yes. So at first, it was all fun and games. If you looked at some of the clips, she was interacting with them. She was having fun. The the furries got on the kiss cam at the jumbotron, and they oh, it's, that's, it's, I didn't see that. I want to yeah, see that. Yeah, it, it says awesome. true love underneath it on the kiss cam. Uh, but eventually, oh. they figured out that uh, those furries were not supposed to be down on the sidelines near Tyra <laughs> Banks, nor oh. were they actually ticket paying customers. Oh, really? Yeah, they actually <laughs> came in in fur suit, and the people thought they were just part of. The show, they thought they were mascots, 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 mascots. Yeah. they just let them in. <laughs> okay, well, there you go. Nice, so interesting. I didn't know that. That is a good way to get into a game, yeah, it is. right? Oh, yeah. oh, no, I'm with the like, mascot troop, yeah, yeah. <laughs> exactly. So, uh, so they were escorted out of the show or out of the basketball game, and uh, they are banned from the Barclays Center in New York City now. Oh. <laughs> The Barclays Center, though. The Barclays Center, um, yes. Do either of you know about the thing with Tira Banks from, like, I don't know, 10, 15 years ago? No, it couldn't have been that long because I'm only seven and a half. So it must have been, I don't know, not too long ago. What about her? Wh- which thing with Tyra Banks? So on the Tira Banks show, she had, like, she had a cringe episode. And there <sighs> were, like, three um, Yeah, I three do recall sets something about this. people that, like did cringe things and she called two furries on and they, well, I'll just leave it at that. And, um, it was 
a very bad episode for furries. Mm-hmm. It's, it's along the lines of that. C, uh, uh, what is it? This CSI, CSI episode. Yeah. CSI yeah. Episode. Loathing. And oh, and Uncle Kaze. You can probably find clips of this on um, Uncle Kaze. Got you mean so Uncle Kage? You mean Uncle Kage? Mad. Uncle Ka- Ka- Kage. Kaze <laughs> is a fur as a furry who lives up here in the totally and, and also totally different. Ka- Kaze yeah. is um, Kaze is a wonderful. So I'm going to get off track for two seconds because now that you say that, well, I said it first, so it's my fault. But Kaze is a wonderful. <laughs> um, so Timothy Albee, who is a fur, um, uh, in order to prove, or I forget why this they started this, but they made um, an animated show, like a, it's a 45 minutes animated show, just Timothy and two computers um, and made this wonderful animated thing. Um, and then because of this, they went on to um, do animation for like, I think Dune, no, Dune or Out Lost in Space or something like that. And um, so Kazi's very, very wonderful. And it's a very good show, um, Kazi. I, I really like it. Really recommend. Anyway, Uncle Kage got really, really, really mad at Tara Banks and called her all sorts of nasty names for doing yeah, he, this. And it's horrible. He, he, gets, he gets very um, <clears throat> passionate vociferous and agitated when that, and I don't blame him though I, I don't mean, either she did oh. she did this on purpose and it, it really you know really and this was in the days when um furries really were you know like the CSI days whatever when when furries mm-hmm. were really not just nothing but a bunch of sex crazed maniac frowned upon just things yes. just things yeah. and and so the Tara Banks helped um further that notion and and it was just actually uh Really, really horrible. Anyway, so Tara Banks has a history with furries, and um, that well, might have played into some of this story here. I don't know. Anyway, maybe I'll that's why the furries it. picked on her. Maybe, maybe. I uh, see. I'm guessing that when you said um, when you started reading this story, uh, that was the first thing I thought was like, you know, there's probably a reason <laughs> for that. Probably, anyway. yeah, yeah. Anyway. Okay, that's all the stories I have for Furries in the News, which brings us up to our upcoming events. Uh, We have a number of upcoming events. We have our first one is Anthro Expo 2024, coming up February 1st through the 4th, which is actually the weekend that this episode drops out. Uh, that's yep. in Norman, Oklahoma. That's the, right now. That's right now. Right now. Right now. Right now. Right now. Also, when is this happening? Right now. Right now. <laughs> right now this but, is even but happening. When? <laughs> when? Right now. But but when did that happen? Not now. Before. Anyway. Not now. You missed it. You missed it. I hate yogurt. Anyway, uh, th- also this weekend, the fifth, the second through the fifth of February, is ScotiaCon in Glasgow, UK. And where we are at this moment, if you're listening to this on the 3rd of February, then you are hearing us and uh, we are at Get Out the Float in Seaside, Oregon, uh, which is a furry floaty con. Uh, also, uh, next in a couple of weeks, uh, February 21st through 25th. Are we having a good time right now at Get Out the Float? We are oh, having we a good time. We're here right now. I don't know. We are having a good, we're having a good time. Okay. We're having a good time. Sure. Yes. Have you ever had a bad time at a fur con? I can't say that um, I've ever had a bad time at a fur con. Well, no, if, when you were sick, that was a bad time at a fur con. Yeah. That was a bad th- I or also when you got had hurt. a bad time at a fur con <laughs> when that fur brought me um, their noodles. Mm-hmm. Because it was bad time that they uh, put yes. in it. Yeah. And, and also the time. That was we- not very sage that I should say. I should curry my comments a little bit more. Instead of peppering everything in and assaulting, will every somebody press the mute button on him, please? Okay. The next uh, <laughs> event that's coming up, uh, February twenty first through twenty fifth, in Malmo, Sweden, is the Nordic Fuzz Con. Also, that same weekend, February twenty second through twenty fifth, in Milwaukee, Wisconsin, is First Squared. Gadong Con is coming up in uh, February twenty eighth through the March third in Gdansk. March. Poland. Every time I hear the name of that con, I think that song Honky Tonk Badonkadonk. Donkadonk, yes. Honky, that's right. Good nice honk, donk, donk, donk. Yep. Uh, March 7th through the 14th, no, the 7th through the 10th, 
in Surrey, British Columbia, Canada, is uh, Vancouver, where you're going, right, Tabin? You're going which to Vancouver? Where, yes, yes, which is where I'm going. So you first, this will be my first Vancouver, so uh, my first international con, as it were. Dun, dun, dun. And so I'm looking How does a pup to, get uh, a passport? I don't know. I, I should probably figure that out if I'm going to go. So that's, that's a You don't need yes. a passport. You just have to be in your crate. That's all. <gasps> that's oh, right. And that's you'll right, have to go. The crate is. You have to go yeah. two weeks ahead of time so you can be um, segregated, quarantined, yeah. quarantined for two weeks before you that's go to the con. Right. So you better head out uh, shortly after. Get out the float. If you get the recording uh, right yeah. after. Yes. Yeah, right here's the float. Good point. Good point. Um, let's see. March 8th through the 10th is Furthermore in Arlington, Virginia. March 14th through the 17th in Dallas, Texas is the Texas Furry Fiesta. March 15th through the 17th, also in Toronto, Canada, is Fernal Equinox. Gateway Fur Meet is happening the 15th oh. through the 17th of March in St. Louis, Mo. And uh, the Las Vegas Fur Con Mo. is coming up in Las <laughs> Vegas. Uh, March 29th through the 31st. Also that same weekend, March 29th through April 2nd in Bron, France is Fantastique. Fantastique. I ha- fantastique. It must, fantastique. must be pronounced Fantastique because he's French. Fantastique. Fantastique. Oui, oui. So I didn't realize that so Vancouver and um, then there's a uh, Fernal Equinox are on um, back-to-back weekends, and Fernal, let's see, Fernal yes. Equinox is in Ontario, which is all of the way on the on the other side, east side. Yes. Yeah, yes. okay. Yes. I, I Guru mentioned that That's when we had Guru on. Remember that that those oh. two cons kind of are back to back and very oh yeah kind of I think them. all the werewolves got in the way so that's why I forget yeah. yes the yeah, werewolves probably. get in the way werewolf there wolf there castle there over there. just look over there there castle there castle there wolf all right Where, their castle <laughs> it's from young frankenstein young frankenstein mm. yes they were in the cart and the wolf goes Arr. he says oh no it's werewolves werewolf their wolf, their castle. castle. <laughs> I forgot about that. Yes. Anyway. Igor. <laughs> Igor. Oh, oh, Marty Feld. Was it your hump on the other side? What hump? <laughs> I remember that. Yes. <laughs> What's it? Hump, sir. What hump? <laughs> I remember that. It's like, um, and then doesn't, then later doesn't it switch again? It's like, didn't yes. that, yep. uh, never, mind. Yep. Never, mind. <laughs> never mind. 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 Uh, God, Marty Feldman. God, his eyes oh, were he just, was, he was so uh, good. Such a funny he was character. Such a talent. And, and Gene yeah. Wilder, right? So funny. Gene Wilder. Yeah, Gene Wilder. Yeah. Wilder. And, oh, I should watch that again. Uh, That's oh, a good yeah. show. Mm-hmm. Just it's a it's a all Peter Boyle. Cast. Peter uh, Boyle. Peter Boyle played Frankenstein's monster. Um, yeah. So that's okay. I remembered where I saw another actor. All right, Taba, do you have a story this week at all? I do. Okay. Well, please edify us with your narrative. Well, so I have a choice for you. Like last time I had a choice of three books and we, you chose one. And so I read that. And so now we have a choice between the two that are left. Well, let me get a hold of Sh- Sophie. Sophie's choice? Sophie's choice. We'll let Sophie choose. The, it's the never thing. good. It's never good, though. No. No. <laughs> uh, the movie I, called Sophie's Choice. There's. Uh, the choice uh, was not a good choice. No. She had no good options. No. I, uh, this is a very confusing episode for me this week. I'm it, it is. I don't, yes. We are just throwing all kinds of movie you, references at you. Wow. I don't even know how to, it, it's kind of like, you know, when you, you throw, you have a ball and you pretend throw it for the doggy and the doggy mm-hmm. goes running off. That's what I've just been doing. I've been running off and I get there and I'm like, what? Huh? And I run back and I look at it like, what? And then you do it again and I run after it and it's like, what? Now I run back and what? And that's kind of what this episode has been about, like for me. All right. Well, what are my choices? Okay. So, anyway, mm-hmm. anyway. Yes. Come on, let's have let's have it. We want to see Barry's Denny, choice. Denny and Penny hugs. You might remember I've read it but one Denny, or two Denny, Denny and Penny books before. Yes, you have. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And the other one is Dragons Love Tacos. Hmm. This is a tough decision. It's a tough it, decision. This is like Sophie's choice. This is. And, and I haven't read either of these, so I don't I don't know if it's going to be good or bad. Because one has foxes and the other has dragons and yeah. tacos. The, the, and tacos. And it does say New York Times bestseller. 
Okay. Well, and it's by Adam. Are you Rubin. sure it's bestseller or not best smeller? Because tacos it, it's, smell really good. It's actually it's not the worst addict though. It's the best seller. Oh, okay. That was barely just. <laughs> oh, you first bar- barely did it again. He, I'm voted off the show. <laughs> barely forecasting okay. featuring Tim. Tim, yeah. Tim. <laughs> BFFT. I don't want to change all the oh, all nice. the logos or anything. Oh, we don't want to change all the merchandise yeah, that that's, way. That's right. Okay. True. All right. Uh, let's hear. I vote for tacos. Rain. What do you tacos. vote? Tacos. Yeah, tacos. 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 Always vote for tacos. Hungry, so tacos are tacos are sounding good right now. Okay. They are actually. Oh, I want tacos. I hope I get tacos for dinner. If my honey's not making me tacos for dinner, I'm gonna blame both of you. Okay. <laughs> okay. So. Dragons love tacos. To my loving sister, Bruce. What? Smart, beautiful, and full of laughter. <laughs> okay. Okay. So that, that's not actually the start of the story. <laughs> that's okay. what it said. <laughs> okay. Um, okay, so. Hey, kid, did you know that dragons love tacos? They love beef tacos and chicken tacos. They love really big, gigantic tacos and tiny little baby tacos as well. And there's this kid. I'll describe it for all you first, but barely in rain. You can see there's a kid and a doggy looking very confused about the tacos for whatever reason. Yes. Kind of a cute doggy, though. Um, The kid is kind of creepy looking, but the doggy is cute. He is. He is. Why do dragons love tacos? Maybe it's the smell from the sizzling pan. Maybe it's the crunch of the crispy tortillas. Maybe it's a secret. Either way, if you want to make friends with dragons, tacos are the key. Hey, dragon, why do you guys love tacos so much? And there's um, there's a dragon, and apparently we're talking to this dragon. Mm-hmm. And we're asking, um, why do you love tacos so much? But wait, wait. Oh, no, that's next. But wait, as much as dragons love tacos and hate spicy salsa even more, they hate spicy green salsa and spicy red salsa. They hate spicy chunky salsa and spicy smooth salsa. If the salsa is spicy at all, dragons cannot stand it. Okay, then. The plot is thickening and the thought is plickening all at the same time. Yes. Why do dragons hate spicy salsa? Well, just one drop of hot sauce makes a dragon... Dragon's ears smoke. Just one single speck of hot pepper makes a dragon snort sparks. Spicy salsa gives dragons the tummy troubles. And when dragons get the tummy troubles, oh boy. Oh boy. If you want to make tacos for dragons, keep the toppings mild. Tomatoes, lettuce, cheese. These are all good toppings for tacos for dragons. Hey, dragon. How do you feel about spicy spicy taco toppings? And there's a dragon just laying there. Apparently, he doesn't feel very good about spicy He looks like he's dead. He does look not well. Well, dragons love parties. They like, I don't know why we, we were tacos, now we're parties. Dragons love parties. They like costume parties and pool parties and tiny little parties with charades. They like big gigantic parties with accordions. Why do dragons love parties? Maybe it's the con- conversation. Maybe it's the dancing. Maybe it's the comforting sound of a good friend's laughter. The only thing dragons love more than parties or tacos is taco parties. Taco parties are parties uh, with lots of Now tacos. we understand. Yeah, now, now we understand we the understand. connection. The yeah. lines have been drawn. The lines have been drawn, and what's on top and what's on bottom tells you seven elevenths of onomatopoeia is... Okay, if you want to have some dragons over for a taco party, you'll need a bucket of tacos! Pant loads of tacos. The best way to judge is to get a boat and fill the boat with tacos. That's about how many tacos dragons need for a taco party. After all... Dragons love tacos. Hey, dragon, are you excited for the big taco party? And we're talking to a dragon now. Apparently, there's a dragon right there. Mm-hmm. Is yeah. he excited? Yeah, this is a different dragon. This is, is he... a riveting tale of a is... dragon with a tail for is tacos. He... Is he excited, though? We want to know. We want to know. Let's find out. Turning the page to find out. Just remember... Dragons hate spicy salsa, so I guess we're not going to find out if the dragon is excited. But we do remember dragons hate spicy salsa. Before you host your taco party with dragons, get rid of the spicy salsa. salsa. In fact, bury this spicy salsa in the backyard so the dragons cannot find it. There's a good idea. There's a good idea. 
and and now we've got a whole bunch of dragons in a tug in a party. You, you first can't see it, but I'm showing ooh. rain and barely. And we it's a taco, taco party. party. Taco party. These dragons love your taco party. They love the music. They love the dr- decorations. They especially love the tacos. Congratulations! Apparently we we're, we're having. Oh, and look, there's a little dragon with a lampshade on his head. Aww. He's had way okay. too many tacos. He said way, too, way many too many tacos. I mean, but isn't he a good dancer? He is. Yeah. It's a good thing you got rid of all that spicy. Wait a second. What are those little green things in the salsa? You didn't read the fine print. And it says, there's a little picture of the um, jar. It says tomato wild sal- mild salsa. And below it says, now with spicy jalapeno peppers. Ah. That's the fine print. Uh-oh. Oh, no. Oh, no. Dragons, listen to me. Do not eat those tacos. Those little green spice specks in the salsa, well, those are jalapeno peppers. They are super spicy. I know you love tacos, dragons, but you are not going to love these tacos. Do not let those dragons eat those tacos. And then we hear crunch, crunch, crunch. Uh-oh. 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 And then we have a picture of dragons. Oh, there's fire all over the place. They're breathing fire. Oh, my cow. Oh, my cow. Oh, Look at no. that. Oh. They're breathing All over dragons. his drapes. Yep. All over his drapes. All over... And then um, the words say, too late. <laughs> and then, oh, there's just a picture of, oh, everything's smoldering and smoky. And like the dragons oh, are just oh, standing there. The walls there. are all gone. <laughs> the mm-hmm. walls are all gone. That is quite, it's kind of, it reminds me of the party floor at a fur con. Actually. Yes. Oh, yeah, kind of. Yeah. What would dragons help to help? Hi. Why would dragons help? You rebuild your house. Maybe they're good Samaritans. Maybe they all feel bad for wrecking it. Maybe they're just in it for the taco breaks. Maybe. Maybe. Then be the breaks. Yep. After all, dragons love tacos. The end. Mm. Yay. That was, that was a very good story. There were lots of ups and downs. I, you know, I cried. I laughed. I, I felt yeah. I got heartburn. It was, um, there was, there, there was hot pages and cold pages. Oh, pages. It, it, mm-hmm. it, yeah. it totally. I felt magnanimous. It got a little spicy at the end. Got a little spicy at the end. I, yeah. Oh, yeah. oh, I, I felt um, magmanious. Magma. Ma- magna- magnanimous. Magmamius? Mag- no, but because the fire's from the dragon, so I felt magma anius. Ooh. I, I'm not doing a good job. You see what I'm trying to it's Yeah, just not, dragons it's don't not. breathe magma. Though. No. Oh. No. Oh. They might gargle they with it, breathe? but they don't breathe it. Yeah. Do they breathe uh, Brussels sprouts with bill? No. They when they come not. in the no. mail. No. 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 Okay, it's time now for me to ask you two some trivia questions. I have the trivia oh, cards. Please uh, make me two. shut up. Are you be oh, ready? Uh, we have we are ready. We have two. We have two cards. One from a list of things called "I should have known that." The other is they don't things they don't teach you in school. So Tabin, they don't. Oh my cow! Do they? T- they teach about tacos though. They do. I'm going to ask you a very question. Only on Tuesdays. Because I see in your puppy bowl you have a red beverage. And so I'm going to ask you, what Fuck gives wine its red color? Well, when the dragon ate the spicy taco, he was very a little worried about it. So he let out a little wine about it. And since it was spicy, he had blood. And that's why wine is red. Ah. <laughs> uh. That, I feel that's not right, though. That's I, not I right. I think that's, that's, not, that's not right. Rain, do you have an answer, perhaps? Would it be the tannins? No, it would be the skin of the grape. Oh, wrong off off mm-hmm. by this skin of my grapey grape grape. Okay. So, uh, <laughs> Rain. I love how I'm just being ignored all uh, over the all couch over tonight. The that's couch. great. All over the couch. <laughs> I'm okay. confusing and ignored pup. It's just, it's great. This it's is just, great. This it's is, it's so it. much better for our listeners when you're confusing and ignored. Okay. <laughs> oh my God. Rain. Oh my I feel like, yes. I feel like I'm asking questions on Hollywood squares. Rain. Is it true that the U S dollar bill weighs one gram? 
I, I have no idea. Can I answer? Yes, please. Say it again. <laughs> Is it true that the U.S. dollar bill weighs one gram? Yes, because it rang a bell in my head. Yes, you are correct. Gram. You are correct. Oh. Okay. Did, did you get my horrible pun or are you ignoring it? I did. I, no, I got it. I got it. Yeah, we got okay. it. We're just, we're not reacting. Are you first? Did you get it? Because Alexander Graham Bell oh, they and got the it. telephone yeah, yeah, and they stuff, they all got Okay, I want to make sure we're yep, on the same it. page here. They, they all wrote in, said they got it, yes. They okay. wrote in, and they're like, yes, they, you just got a whole bunch of envelopes mm-hmm. with broccoli in it okay. because of what I said. It's my fault. I, I'm so sorry. Okay. And they, they all said, um, we got it, Tabin. Shut up. <laughs> you've you've had this question before, Tabin, so I'm going to ask it to you again. We, we had a different different type of thing. How many zeros are there in 10 billion? Oh, I'm um, let me count on pause these. 10 billion. Yeah. There'd be um, seven, I no. think. Wait. No, wait, 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 wait. Thousand million. Oh, no, 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 no. No. There's 10. You are correct. There are 10. Yeah. I was very I good. Was off, but yeah. Very good. Okay. Ray, hey. the next, next question is you. What color okay. is the middle band of the German flag? Oh, yellow. It is red. Damn it. <laughs> <laughs> so um, it, it did very well at literature in school because well it read. is well read. Yep. Yes. Yep. Okay. You saw where I was going with that? <laughs> I did. Okay. Tabin, when you, are, when you are standing on the beach looking out at the horizon, approximately how far away is the horizon? I actually, what was the flag that we just talked about? The German flag was red. I you know? actually middle band of the German flag about this recently. Okay. Yes. And I read about this. You read yeah, about you this. I did it. That was okay. Um, not, and not I ma- don't remember actually. N- not but, magenta, um, but he read it. I mm-hmm. read, yes. I, I, did, I did in top band of the German flag. No. It doesn't make sense to yellow. No. Th- about this recently, but. <laughs> Nope, nope, nope. Uh, and, rain? And I don't remember. You don't remember? Rain, any idea? No. Mm, is it 10 miles? It is three miles. Damn it. Oh. oh. It's not doing good at all today. No. Oh, okay. cow. So the next question then goes to Rain. What is the most, or wait a minute, the most popular activity in bed is sleeping. <clears throat> <clears throat> throat> okay. What's, I, I disagree with that already. What's the second most popular activity in bed. Oh, I know this one. Well, I know what my two favorite activities in bed are, but I'm going to guess that people aren't like me. So I'm going to say reading. You are correct. It is reading. I was going to say reading. Mm-hmm. Yay. Yes. We know things. By the my way, my first and second are the same, but by the way, your first and second is actually what comes in third place. Um, really? Yeah. Wow. <laughs> oh, like eating boring. cookies? Eating cookies. Yeah. Yep. Eating cookies. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. Tabin. Your final yep. question. I oh no. In Manhattan, there is an arena ah. where they play Ooh. ice hockey at, by the the New York Rangers play their home games there. What is the name of that arena? Well, I remember when um Cary Grant and Adolf Hitler throwback to episode like what a month ago, when Cary Grant and Adolf Hitler when ice skating together at this particular venue, they got married and had their... Oh, no, this is a flashback to um, at FC, wasn't it? And yes. I, I was talking about Adolf Hitler. And yes. Hitler, so a lot of you first don't remember. I was... During Survivor, I was doing that thing where I just start talking. Mm-hmm. And I talked about Cary Grant and Adolf Hitler. And they had a love child. They adopted Bernie Sanders. Yes, they did. And then I forget what happened from that. So that I do know they went ice skating together, though, and that's where they ended up getting married. And so the answer to the question is cheese. <laughs> no, it's not uh, cheese. Rain, any any thoughts? Would that be Madison Square Garden? That would be Madison Square Garden. You <gasps> are correct. Oh, ding, ding, ding. I think Rain won. Oh, no, Rain gets one more, Disney. Um. Yes. Okay. The final question. Uh, if Rain, if you answer this question, you win with four points and Tabin to Tabin's two. 
if you oh. lose and he steals it, then we'll have a tiebreaker. What okay. does karaoke mean in Japanese, literally? I used to know this. Um, I did too. It does not mean bad singing. Oh. Oh, well, okay. <laughs> well, um, Believe it or not. He d- <laughs> does it. Does does it mean lyric or something like that? It does not. Tabin, any thoughts? Uh, uh, um, karaoke. I used to know this. Right, I did too. I just. It's been so long I, since I heard it. I can't remember. It means karaoke. It means. It means. Um. Uh. Oh, I know what it means. It means, um, oh, what's it? Um, <laughs> uh, what, how's it? Hold on, hold on. I, I know this one. Um, do you believe in life after love? Yes, no, I'm sorry. That is not correct. So, oh, okay. Kara means empty, and Okasura oh, yes. means orchestra. So, it means empty orchestra. Ah. I knew that. Oh, my cow. I actually didn't know that. Okay. But it's very close to um do you believe in life after it's love? It's very close to you believe in life after <laughs> I love. I should have you know I should have got the empty part because I did karate for karate, so many yep. years. Yeah. And the K- kata at the beginning karate. that means empty. Yeah. And empty. te is hand. So empty karate hands. means empty, empty hand. hand. Yep. The way yep. of the, No, sorry. Um te is way of and so karate yeah. is the way of the empty hand. Yeah. yeah. Okay then. The way of the empty hand. Now it's time for our shameless plugs before we wrap up our show. Uh, these are where we talk about the things, projects, oh, and stuff we're doing with. And uh, uh, my my three, of course, are or two are off leash. My other two podcasts, off leash, Shame, and uh, Royal Highness. And I hope that all those that are <laughs> listening at uh, Get Out the Float are having a super time. Rain, what are your shameless plugs? Uh, Let's well, rain it in. Season one, episode three of Three Do Who will be out by the time this recording hits. <laughs> And we're discussing the final three specials of 2023. Um, so remind all our listeners podcast. what Three Do Who is. That's a monthly Doctor Who podcast. Uh, it's also on video. It's our only video podcast on the on Injured, the Injured Nerves, Nerves Network. Network. Yes, yes. Yes. Uh, my Friday night DJ stream, Rack Tracks, happens most Fridays from 6 to 8 p.m. Pacific uh, at twitch.tv slash rain raccoon. Uh, and right now I'm DJing at Get Out the Float. This weekend, yes, you are. Episode you is are. dropping, mm-hmm. so indeed. Ooh. I hope I'm doing good. I hope you're doing you good. You are too. doing amazing. amazing. The music oh. is just oh. wonderful. Oh, that's why Taven's dancing. Yeah, okay. That yeah. would be. I why wondered I'm why you were dancing, dancing around. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And Taven, how about you? Um, what have you been doing? What is your What are your shameless plugs? My shameless plugs is I will have merch on fourth wall. I promise. I promise I do have a fourth wall that if uh, you just go to fourth wall at Tabin or whatever, um, it'll just say uh, this space is empty, but it's there. I, I have okay, one. It's, it's just there. there. Oh, I thought that's what it said inside your head. It does. It really oh, does. Okay. I think that's that's probably why it's permanently well, since, said that. Because since that's, we're <laughs> sequestered together for the whole weekend, this this weekend. Yes. We should look at that. Uh, I will help you with that. We'll get it fixed. Yay. Yay. Okay. And, that would and be Mike great. will be there too, so he can help you with that. Yes. Um, yeah, so I we should bring like... Things um, to put in your head. Things to put... Exactly. We mm-hmm. should, um, I am... Well, me and my hubby are actually currently designing new 2024 Tabin chips. So if any of you first have seen me cons and received some of my Tabin chips, little poker chips with Tabin on it. I have three so far. I have... Uh, some from 2018, 2019, and some from 2020. And I have to order more. I'm really, really low. So um, right now, get out the float. I don't have many to hand out, but hopefully later um, this year, if you see me at a con, you'll have some. Um, but I'm currently designing a 2024 Tabin chip, um, which I'm excited about. I think it'll turn out really great. Uh, to be um, fair, and, a, a Tabin and, chip is not like a potato chip. It's not a little no, deep dried piece yes. of Tabin. So don't. There, there's no, metal in there. So don't, I, don't eat them. There's metal in them. Yes. Uh, and unfortunate for all you furs, um, we're not. I'm, I'm still exist. We're not like yes. the, boiling yeah. me in these hot water the, and stuff. These are the poker chips. chips. Poker chips, the yeah. variety. Yes. And uh, I'll probably put some of those on my fourth wall too um, once 
we can figure out how to do so. Make sure to check out Crispy Ascension, part three of the um, Crispy Chicken Saga. It's on my YouTube. Um, and of course, make sure to watch the previous two parts, the, the original Crispy Chicken and then Crispy Dreamin'. Uh, part, those are parts one, two. Very important, of course, because Crispy yeah, Ascension builds on Yeah, because if you don't, you won't know what's going on. Yeah. Yeah. You won't have any idea what's going on in Crispy Ascension. When, so I, you know, I, um, they played it at, at FC and a and Film Festival. And um, like a lot of first don't know about the, actually, no, a and we played all three. At FC, mm-hmm. they only played Crispy Ascension. And a lot of first hadn't seen like the first two or didn't know the original or, or anything. So they didn't have the full context, but I would still go into rooms and they would say, Oh, look, it's the crispy chicken King. So mm-hmm. they got something from it. Yes. From it. Yes. Um, so you've got to watch the first two. Very important. My YouTube is at Tabe and pup. So, I mean, just look for Tabe and pup or type in crispy sense. And you'll, you'll find it or just type in crispy chicken, nummy tots and you'll find it. I will have more videos on my YouTube. There, there's more that, um, I just haven't released yet, so keep an eye out for that. Uh, and in terms of cons, I will be at, as I mentioned before, Vancouver. So I'll be at Vancouver for Landia and Denver are um, this year for sure. And I'll be doing my story time with Tabin and Tabin Sings Weird Al like I normally do and handing out free merch and stuff like that. So come join the fun. Hope to see you um, at a con at one of my panels. Awesome. Yay. Awesome. Well, what a day. We did it again. We finished the thing. We finished this thing. We did. We did the finish the thing. Thing. How thing? The. the. Oh, man, I'm so proud of you both. You, it's been so <laughs> Four long. Years, I didn't actually know got what it. you'd remember. That's right. That's, that's right. I'm well, so proud. I'm so well, proud. we certainly hope all of you had a far, had for a little bit of that's all, folks. That's all, folks. <laughs> we certainly hope you all, all you furs, had a good time with us today. We know you have a choice of podcasts, and we appreciate you putting us in your ears. You can help support the show any number of ways through <laughs> donations or subscriptions or merch perch. Rain, any final words? Uh, yeah, sure. I, I would like to say, uh, Mubar Fluff. Who and I end and Ziggy, I love you and Aww. be kind to yourselves and each other. Yay. Yay. Taven, it is time for Hi. you to take us away oh. from this podcast. That would be fantastic. How and tastic? also, mm. if you are sailing on a sea of ocean, sorry. Let me try this again. If you are sailing on a whole bunch of water. No, let me try this again. If you are sailing on a whole bunch of orange soda, but, you, but you're but re- you really dreaming it, you you are really living your fantasy. Oh, yes. And uh, that's a joke I told way back in season two. Oh. I figured you did, and I was trying to... I didn't do it as good as you did, but I was trying to do it, and you, you there were three. T- it took me three tries. You heard it here, all oh, you yeah. first. It took me anyway. Yeah, so on that horrible note, which is any some people think any song from the '80s is a horrible note, but I personally love those notes from the '80s. Don't you, Rain? Oh sure, yes. Because you, you do, I, DJ. I play a lot of that kind of music. So plug for Rain. Go do his DJ sets because he plays a lot of '80s and '90s and stuff. But yes. Thank you, all you first. I've had a really great time tonight, even though I've been like so confusy pup and so ignored pup, like probably more than most episodes, but it's still been like a really fun, amazing time hanging out with Rain and the Barely is always, always a great time. Uh, hope to see you at, at a con sometime. Huggy type with pausies. Come hang out and say hi, hi to us. Come see our stuff and everything. So there's another shameful plug for us. But thank you very much for listening to this podcast. Even if you're still listening, that's so amazing. Thank you so much. And I guess I'll just say until next time, moo bark fluff, stay furry, bark, bark. Barely Furcasting is an Injured Nerve Studio production and is found on all major podcast platforms or can be heard directly at barelyfurcasting.com. The Furcast is produced, recorded, and directed by Barely Normal, a.k.a. Mike Began, and is edited by Barely and our associate producer, Rain Raccoon. 
opening and closing theme music, as well as some interstitial music, was created for Injured Nerves Productions for the use on the podcast by Reg Day with Damian Tanuki. If you would like to hear more music by Reg Day, you can search for Tweezer Beak on Bandcamp or Hoop Loop Tunes on SoundCloud. Other interstitial and background music through SilvermanSound.com, Gator Tots on SoundCloud.com, the YouTube Free Use Library, and Epidemic Sound. If you would like to send us a message, you can do so via email at barelyfurcasting at gmail.com or on our Telegram chat at BFFT chat, on Twitter, on our Facebook page, or on the barelyfurcasting.com webpage. You can help support the show through donations at coffee.com forward slash barelyfurcasting or through Patreon at patreon.com forward slash barelyfurcasting. Thanks for listening. We hope you come back and listen next week. Music